three, two, one, go. Oh, three times over, boy. Crazy how I came up in this game and then I ran them up. It's Larry Johnson Jr., LJJ, Lonker, all on them trucks. I stand insanely on it, bro. I love to gain a customer. I mainly maintain what I must. I earn a trust off of the bucks. I'm blessing them with beauty cuts and placing them on YouTube. Cause I'm trying to get subscriptions up. I'm driven by ambition, bro. I'm all about integrity. You should never compare to me unless you want to see how deep your insecurity can be. I'm rolling so low in these streets And all I know is to live free I'm full of peace But when it comes to like her Boy, I am a beast I never leave until it's clean I get them weeds and everything I throw some seeds and motion leaves And trim them trees and charge them fees And yes, I am the king of string I said exactly what I mean You see the way I do my thing Them edgy, squared and crispy clean Then if you haven't did it yet Go ahead and like, subscribe and share And best believe that LJJ like Harris Gonna be right there What's up, broski? Larry here with the LJJ Line Care, and we are in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're going to be talking about how to be as efficient as you can. You're starting your business, and you decided to become your own man, and you plan. You plan to make a stand and let go of your boss's hand. So you can further live your lifestyle in advance. Now, in order to become advanced in your business, you got to make a decision on how are you going to build it? Are you going to build it fast or slow? Me, I started off building it fast. Now, there's two separate consequences to building fast or building slow. One. Building fast, you're going to take any and everything that you possibly can. Anybody that call you, you're going to take that property. That's building it fast. You're going to price a certain price where majority of the potential customers are going to say yes. That's building it fast. And you're going to find yourself with 90 to 100 customers super fast because you did that now there's some things you got to do it's just not not gonna happen without putting forth effort of exposure you have to expose yourself to your advertising like for instance if i wanted to be in the neighborhood i'd take my truck and just park it just park it and when i park it people will be walking by and they'll see it and they'll jot down a number some people will take pictures of it or whatever they do to make sure they get the information to contact me later for me to come out and give them an estimate for their properties you can't build your business fast without advertising I'm just keeping it 100% real with you if you believe that you're going to gain all these customers just by going to a neighborhood and cutting it, it's not going to work. You have to advertise. When you get done cutting, you're going to go ahead and go across the street, pass out your cords over there across the street. You're going to cut the yards. If you got time, pass out your cords on the block. You're going to expose yourself through Facebook, Google, and like I said, your truck wrap or your truck magnets. Now, that's building it fast. And remember, you're gonna take on every property. That's corner lots, hills, if you got hills in the area that you live in. You're gonna take everything and you're gonna give out the price to make sure that customer is happy. And you're gonna be happy because you took the property. And eventually you're gonna make enough money and have enough customers because you built it fast. Hello. How are you? How you doing? Good. Would you like any water? Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. I got music in my ears. No problem. Would you like any water or something? Oh, no, I you appreciate it. Thank you so much. No I appreciate it. Excuse Apologies. Me. Now, the consequences of building it fast is that your body will be worn down to the nub. You're going to have so many customers contacting you 
and they're going to expect for you to make it out to those properties to cut it. It doesn't matter how high this hill is and the ankle injury that you sustained from trying to stand on this hill and trying to mow it or trying to string trim it. It doesn't matter that it's raining and you're getting behind. You have 90 to 100 customers that you have to cut. Some lawn care providers be out in the rain cutting the grass, getting soaked, dealing with mud, and dealing with every element that they have to deal with. But they're happy because they have a gang of customers and they have a gang of properties and they built their business fast. Me, I built my business fast. I started off with a push mower. It was a commercial 30 inch X mark. And I took on all the properties that I possibly could took. Plus, I was not concentrating on certain type of properties. I took all the hills, I took the corner lots. Now the thing about corner lots, I know that a lot of line care take these properties. And I'm not speaking against that. Somebody got to cut those corner lots. And nor am I speaking against the hills. Somebody got to cut those hills. And the line care provider that's building their business fast have plenty of access to those properties. Now, remember, when you're building your business fast, it's not about you. It's about getting those customers and getting that money. And you're going to take on as much as you possibly can to get access to as much property as you can and as much money as you can, period. So, let's talk about building your business slow. Now, the reason why you might be considering building your business slow is because you're trying to be very efficient and you're trying to get very comfortable in your business. You're actually trying to set yourself up for the long haul. You're trying to make it as easy on yourself as possible. Those are the specific reasons why you're building it slow. If you're not trying to do none of those things, then you are out to build your business fast and get the money. Now, here's the thing about building your business slow that really you have to understand. You really have to advertise now. I mean, you have to go full-blown advertising campaign. The reason why is because you have to double expose yourself. Because there's going to be more customers that you're not going to take on. And there's going to be more properties that you're going to refuse. Because you are building it slow. You are very picky. So in order to be very picky, you got to be very choosy, right? So in order to be choosy, you're going to have to actually place yourself in a position where you are so exposed that you can actually turn down some properties. You are being bombarded by plenty of customers calling you, asking you, hey, can you cut my grass? and you are saying no to some of those customers that is not the right type of customers for you there is a such thing as the right type of customer for you now if you're building it fast it don't matter if it's the right kind of customer for you or not i know it's, i know that might sound crazy to you but basically this customer that might not be for you is someone that's probably rude to you someone that actually believe that they're your boss or whatever this customer might be uh, slow to pay. You're just very patient when you fast, but when you when you building it slow, you're not you're not that patient in that area. A customer is rude. Hey, ah, no, I'm good on you. A, uh, a property that's too much. Like when I say too much, I'm talking about there is objects everywhere that slows you down. It's extra work that's not ideal to what you're trying to do you're building it slow and like i was saying you want to get yourself in a position where you are getting 
bombarded by too many customers. You are being just overwhelmed by too many customers. That way, you can go see the specific properties that you want and you can try to get those properties. Now, some customers are gonna tell you no for your prices, whether you building it fast or slow regardless. But when you're building it slow, you're gonna be saying no too. Just letting you know, you're gonna be saying no to this property. You're gonna have specific qualifications and you're not finna back down from none of that. And either way it go, I want you guys to know that March, it, it, when the business first starting is slow, it's kind of slow a little bit. The phone is ringing, you're getting calls, but it's not with, there's not the properties that you want. You know, some of the customers may be the kind of customers you want, but the properties ain't right when you're building it slow. April, if you placed yourself in a position where you are being exposed so much for advertising and you are being overwhelmed with customers, that's when you will be collecting the most customers. April, May, and maybe some summer, June. Just keeping it real with you. July, the, the, the grass is slowing down. People are kind of, you know, it's still a sprinkling of some of the customers that you want, but, you know, it's slowing down. So, what does all this have to do with efficiency? It all goes in line with efficiency on many levels. If you're building your business fast, then it's not about efficiency. It's about getting as many customers as you want, as many properties as you want. When you're building it slow, it's about being efficient, setting yourself up for prosperity, and that's the way it go. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more of these videos. Make sure you hit that bell and stay with me if you want to learn how to get this money and learn how to quit your job and live your best life. Peace. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know that the little blower was in the way on the um, walking path, but that rarely happens. This is one, I have two large yards. This is one of them. Hey, but I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, enjoy this high quality video. Peace.